Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys another NHL 18 video. We are doing something we did last year. We're going to try it again this year and see how it plays out. We are going to see what would happen if Team Canada was in the NHL. I got on Superstar. Doesn't really matter. I don't think the game settings. No fantasy draft, but I put them in the uh, Pacific Division. I substituted them for Arizona. So we'll see what happens. But I didn't want to put them in the division with the avalanche and substitute them with the avalanche only because uh there's less teams in that division i want it to still be a little bit more challenging to make the playoffs i know they'll probably be the best team in the league but um but we'll see what happens and what's going on jake how are you let's see if we can get 300 likes this episode i know we can do it so go ahead hit that like button show that love and support and subscribe and join the dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind getting very close to 50k which i'm very happy about so um so yeah, keep it going, guys. Yes, I'll have the assistant coach help us out. So here's our, here's how the team looks. Uh, not too bad, if you ask me. Um, yeah, this is a very good team, if you ask me. Absolutely. Uh, I'm very excited to see how this plays out. I mean, they got 88s on the third pair, and the goalies are Price and Holpe. And who do we have scratched? Riley, Duchesne, and Couture. Okay. So, yeah, not a bad team if you ask me. I'm very excited for this. All right, let's go ahead, and we are going to just start simulating and seeing how this goes. And, uh, and yeah, we'll go to about – usually I like to send to, like, the trade deadline, so that's where we will go, and we'll see what happens. So we lost the first game, actually. Wow, that was not something I expected, but then we smoke Vegas 9-zip. Wow, we lost to the Ducks, too, 4-2. The only thing that's going to suck about this is that there are going to be two different, you know, players. You know what I mean? So there's two McDavid's, um, two Sagan's, stuff like that. So that's the only downside to this. But we're 12, 4, and 0. So we're not like, well, we are pretty good. But we're not like, you know, 20 and 0. You know what I mean? Nothing too, like, out of this world. But still a very good record, if you ask me. So <coughs> can you imagine if we don't win the President's Trophy, though? That would be pretty funny if that ends up occurring. No overtime losses yet either. Only won 5-2 to two against Vegas, though. Beat uh, uh, Columbus, beat Chicago. We lost 4 nothing to Tampa Bay. I'm glad I'm actually showing this on camera, the sim, because some of these losses are pretty uh, surprising. Like, only 3 nothing against Colorado. Kind of surprises me. 34-7, and seven, though. Great record. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... If your McDavid isn't producing, trade him for the one in Edmonton. <laughs> that would be funny to do. Oh, man. McDavid for McDavid trade. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Good stuff, though. 37 and 13. Definitely probably the best team in the league. Oh, they were 30-something. Now there's some teams that are doing very good. So it doesn't look like we're... Wow, we lost the Philly 3-1. Wow. And 5-3 to Winnipeg. And 3-1 to the Kings. Wow, a few losses this month. Three. 44-16. No overtime losses, though, for these guys. And no trade offers either. I guess because there, there's, you know, other guys in the league. Or there's other of that player in the league. You know what I mean? But I, I assume that if we don't win the Cup, I forget what happened with us in 17. But if we don't win the Cup, that would be very surprising. So... I'm just saying. And by the way, guys, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I don't know why it's taking so long right here. But those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to check me out on Twitch because I'm actually streaming this at the moment on Twitch. So be sure to follow me on Twitch if you would like to see the videos uh, before they go up on YouTube. So link is down below. All right, so let's see what happens. Shootout win and a win to Vancouver. So we're 46-16-0. Let's see how that compares to the rest of the league. 92 points. Okay. That's definitely enough to make the playoffs right there. So it looks like we'll easily make it. Probably even get the Ve uh, the Vesna. Get the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the President's Trophy. So I did I did shave. It's Canadian. Yes, I did. I'm doing a photo shoot today with my girlfriend. We're getting photos done. So she got this like free deal to get photos done. And I was like, all right, sweet. I'm going to have to shave, though, and it took me a long time, too. I ended up cutting my lip, though, but I don't think anyone can see it now. But, yeah, it didn't feel too good. Right when I hit it, I was like, oh, that's going to that's gonna leave a mark. So, 
Yes, yes, yes. Can you imagine if we get 70 win? Oh, wait, we can't now. Never mind. So we're going to finish 64, 18 and 0. Yes, I was right. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So that is the end of the season. I am assuming that we definitely made the playoffs. I would think we did. Uh, let's just sim to here. I just want to sim to. Okay. Playoff. So we're playing Nashville in the first round. So I just want to see what happened in the regular season. See how we did. 128 points. We got the Z, and I'm pretty sure that's President's Trophy. Okay, so we finished. We ended up being the best team in the league with 64 wins. That's pretty phenomenal. Let's go back to Stat Central and see what we got going on here. Uh, McDavid with only 74 points, not even in the 80s. Wow, not even a point per game. Stamkos with 68, Sagan 67. Okay, how did our goalies do? Uh. Even Aiden Hill, who was just a, re a random call-up, played two games and did well. Both guys with under a two goals against. So Price and Holpe were definitely phenomenal goaltenders, which is awesome. So we can't see awards just yet, but uh, but very good stuff. Oh, actually, let's just see who, uh, who ended up being the best player in the league. Let's just see how they compare. It's probably, probably going to be like the, Mc the actual McDavid. You know what I mean? On uh, Edmonton. Oh, it's the actual Stamkos. Okay. Kucherov. Jaden Schwartz, though. 86 points. Not bad for a defenseman. Or no, a winger. Sorry. I was thinking of Schmaltz. I don't know why. I don't know why I was thinking of him. Um, All right. Good stuff there. Um, Who else is there? Looks like I don't even see McDavid on this list. Wow. Okay. Good stuff. I'll take it. But uh, isn't Subban on Team Canada? I think he was. Yeah, I think he was on the third pair. I'm pretty sure he was. All right. Yeah, point per game. That's funny that neither McDavid uh, ended up doing anything productive. Can you imagine if we get, like, swept here? Let's go ahead and start simulating. See what happens. We'll sim to right here and see. Overtime loss, win, loss, win, win, win. Okay. So, wow, if we lost that, that would have been pretty funny. So, we're 4-2. and two. In the uh, in the playoffs or 4 0 and 2 if you want to count overtime losses let's keep simulating and see what happens taking on Anaheim here we lost to them in our first game uh, looks like we're gonna beat them here without a doubt we're three and one loss loss oh boy oh we beat them okay that was gonna be pretty funny it's like I kind of want to see them lose though because I want to see like that would be pretty funny if that occurred oh we're gonna sweep Chicago yep and now we're taking on Washington in the Stanley Cup. Let's see what happens here. Win, win. I got to continue the simulation here. Win. It looks like a sweep. Yep. We won the Stanley Cup. I think that's what happened last year too, but I can't quite remember. We almost lost though to, to the Ducks. It went to Game 7, which actually surprises me. All right. Well, let's take a look at the stats and see how uh, we'll look at awards next. We'll take a look at the playoff tree. I just want to see who made it. So, the Kings made it, Colorado made it, the Blues made it, Chicago, Toronto, Capitals, Bruins made it, Canadians made it, pretty much everyone on that side made it that is actually in the playoffs in real life, except for the Flyers. I think that's the only one, right? Yeah, the Flyers should be on that, in that group. Yeah. All right. But on the other side, it's completely different. All right, good stuff. Wow. I'm actually surprised that we even almost lost. But, um, but yeah, let's see here. So, we got the Stanley Cup, the Presidents, the Clarence, and we did not get the Prince of Wales, of course, because that goes to the Eastern Conference. So, Stamkos on Tampa Bay got that. Kucherov, any Canadian. Here we go. Carey Price got Con Smythe. Calder went to Besser. No surprise there. And he also got the Jennings. Didn't get the Vesna, though. That went to Vasilevsky. And that's it for player awards. Wow. So only two. And it went to Carey Price. A lot of lightning, though. Got some hardware there. All right, let's take a look at playoff stats before we end the episode. 18 points for Tavares. I think he was... Wasn't he, like, our third-line player or something like that? I think he was. Bergeron. He might have even been full. No, I don't know, actually. <coughs> oh, man. But 18 points. Let's just take a look in the entire league. Yep, they win gold medals and Stanley Cups now. That's right. It's Canadian. All right, so the actual Stamkos had the most points. 
only one point more than the Canadian Stamkos, even though they're both Canadian. The Team Canada Stamkos. Stamkos, not Coast. Oh, good stuff, though. That was a really fun sim. I actually thought they were going to lose it. That would have been pretty funny. But, but they came through. They ended up getting it done. But, guys, that is going to do it for this episode and for the stream. I hope you all enjoyed. Be on the lookout for a live stream for those of you on Twitch, on YouTube. I'll probably be doing that after this video renders and uploads. So, but those of you who are going to watch this on YouTube, the stream will be done. But, um, but I'll probably make it public. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys have any other challenge ideas. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace.